Welcome to another exciting week here at 3B Outdoors. Man, have we got a great show lined up for you this week. On this first hunt, we're gonna be spring turkey hunting in Tennessee in a blind with a stick and string. My favorite way to do it. Come along as Dustin Coates and I jump into a blind to see if we can fool one of those old Tennessee gobblers. Then it's off to the Buckeye State with Richie Mason. Let's see if he can put his tag on one of those Ohio Giants. I'm Freddie Neely and welcome to 3B Outdoors. Bucks, bass, and beers. Well, folks, we're back in the blind again this morning where me and Fez got snuckered the other morning. These turkeys down here is acting awful strange. We're seeing turkeys, we're hearing them gobble, and they're coming within shotgun range, but they just won't commit. So today, we've got a different plan for them. We've got the killer bee out there. We've got the hen from Primo's. We got a string tied to him. And if that old gobbler comes in today, we're gonna pull it, oh, a decoy and see if we can't make it lifelike to where that old gobbler will commit to come in. We're gonna hang in here tight. We've not heard a gobble. We're a little late getting in here this morning. We're just gonna see what happens. Oh, 
as I'm telling you, I'm tore all to pieces. Everybody's killed one but me, and a little pressure was on me, but uh, got Big D with me this morning. When Big D comes with me, there's a lot of stuff that happens, but uh, hey, we got the new Matthews Chill R, and uh, we're in the Primos blind. We've got Woodhaven turkey calls on board. Rage broadheads. Spot hog sides. <laughs> Thank you, good Lord. <laughs> we heard him off the roost early this morning. And uh, very, very faintly can we hear him gobble. He's probably 300 yards, maybe further than that. He come within 10 yards. I bet he gobbled 50 times. And probably what he done, he probably called those hens into him. And we was just sitting here talking, thinking, man, what happened? And all of a sudden, we seen a hen pop up over the hill, had this decoy house. She did not like this decoy. And she was going crazy on this decoy, but he couldn't take it. He, the hens come across, he come across. I didn't think he was ever going to turn and give me a shot. <laughs> she did not like that decoy, man. She fluffed up, and it was, uh, it was, I man, we, We've started off the year great. It's it's a week into the season, and we've probably what got four birds on camera. Robbie's killed one, Bucky's killed one, D Light's killed one, but we didn't get that one on camera. Somebody forgot to put the uh, SD card in the camera, and when they got there and got the bird out in the field, no card. So. That arrow should be laying around here somewhere. I think it actually went through that bird. Yep, I see it right there. Looks good, a bloody arrow. Luminoc arrow from old Kurt Price, our buddy. That's what we like to see. It's a good bird. Oh yeah, good things come to those that wait and are patient. And man, I'm just tickled to death. Real good bird. Let me get him up here. Put him down here. Let's take a look at him. Got nice spurs. Got a good nice beard. Probably 10, 10 and a half inch beard. Man, what a tail fan on that joker. Is that not beautiful? I'm telling you guys, if you've not experienced getting out in God's creation early in the morning, when the whole world wakes up, and you see this sun come across this mountain, and you get to hear one of these big old thunder chickens gobble, I mean, it's just like that whole blind just shook with us. You know, we're sitting there messing around <laughs> as normal. What yeah, I was do. watching the footage back, and that's the said, oh, my God. God. I said, there's a turkey up there, and that's all she took. Get him back to the house, get him cleaned up, and I think Lisa's got dinner fixed for us. That's what I'm <laughs> This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Whether it's shooting for fun, shooting for victory, or the one chance at the trophy, of a lifetime. Trust Spothog, the world's toughest archery products. Freddie, what am I doing wrong? Just because something appears easy doesn't mean that it is. It's just like what you say to all your clients. A small mistake now can add up and cost you much more through your future retirement. How many folks do you know that are retirement ready that are off target? 
that needs your help to get back on track. Exactly, but how do you hit the target every time? Just like this. It's a proven process. Take control and own your retirement. Contact the Coastal Financial Planning Group today. Luminoc, the original self-contained lighted knock on the market, patented to accept replaceable lithium batteries and designed to work with all carbon aero shafts while producing the brightest results during any condition. Easily the most durable illuminated knocks to allow up to 40 hours of continuous use and are packaged and crafted to perfection for hundreds of shots. There's only one true Luminoc. Luminoc by Burt Coyote, made in the USA. No matter your destination, ride on a Kimco ATV or side-by-side -side and take control. Built tough, packed with power and full of features to work hard all day and play harder all weekend. Whether you're hauling hay to the shed, running the toughest trails, or heading out for a weekend hunt, you're confident, ready, and in command. Payments as low as $59 a month with 1.9% APR for 36 months during the Kimco Ride On sales event. See your local Kimco dealer today. Kimco, choose your own path and ride on. I tow over 30,000 miles a year. That's why I choose MotorMate. When towing, it's important to tow with confidence, regardless if you're going only a few miles to your local lake or 2,000 miles across the country. And one of my favorite things about MotorMate is how compact it is and how easy it is to stow away. Now that is the deal. MotorMate, proudly made in the USA. Next week's preview brought to you by SRArmory.com, where shooters come to shop. We're going to back out fish structure, big crankbait, jig, swim bait, big worm. There you go. Good, healthy fish right there. Take a marga, baby. Now we're going to jump into a tree with Richie Mason and see if he can lay his tag on what he's been getting on trail cam for so long. It's always special when you're able to uh, harvest a buck with a bow. But when you're able to harvest it and you have history with that deer, it makes it that much more special. I've, uh, I've been getting trail camera pictures of this deer for three years. Last year he was a 130 inch eight pointer, maybe 135. Nothing I was really interested in taking. I had, uh, I had him at 20 yards opening week during last year's season, but I passed him up and uh, boy am I thankful I did. I had no idea what he was going to turn into, but in one year he gained right at 30 inches of, of, of horn. Sometime around August I started getting uh, trail camera pictures of this deer and immediately I knew what he, who he was. His left ear has either been hurt, injured in a fight, it's been shot, something's wrong with it because it was always flopped down and it was easy to tell who this deer was. But uh, when season finally came in, for a solid week, I had the wrong wind, I wasn't able to hunt it. Finally, when I did get the right wind, I, I didn't have a cameraman. It's been exactly a week since I've been in here. Uh, I had my buddy Pete Woodruff running the camera for me last uh, Friday morning, and we had a brute skirt around us about 70 yards through the woods, and uh, he wouldn't get any closer. I'm betting he's the one made them rubs, so, uh, I'm going out alone this evening. I'm self-filming. Hopefully I can get her done for you and bring it to you just as I see it. Well, I go on in there, get up in the tree, get settled down, get my camera locked on, just able to relax. Boom. Wind shifts, hits me right in the face, blowing right at their bedding area. I didn't hesitate. I got my stuff, got down and left. I didn't want to blow this deer out of there. Deer that age, you blow him out one time, you may not get another time. The next day, Justin Rollins was able to go run the camera for me and the wind was perfect. So we got in there early that evening, got in there about four o'clock. The wind remained con constant all evening, blowing directly away from their bedding area. So around, I guess it's around six o'clock, we have a doe and a, and a young one jump the fence, come out there to that oak tree and start feeding in the acorns. Wasn't long after that, maybe 10 minutes, a small rack, two-year-old eight-pointer. He joined in with them. Well, the whole time they was there feeding, they was on edge. I guess it was about 6.30, quarter to seven, maybe. I seen them turn around and look toward the way they come in. I said, uh-oh, Justin, we got another one coming in. Well, immediately, Marvin jumped the fence. 
Well, at the time, I couldn't see him because there was a, Justin's up about six, seven more feet than me. He could see up farther up that little green valley that, they, that he seen him coming down. Well, finally, he got into my view, and that's when the old heart, the old ticker started pumping. I knew it was him. Well, he done, he read the script. He come right up the edge of the field. Like I figured he would do in the beginning, he come in actually in a little di bit different spot than what I was thinking, planning on him coming in. But when he come back, he come in exactly the way I thought they was gonna come. He come right down that edge of that pasture field, went to the fence line, made a hard left, come right to us. After about five minutes, probably about five minutes, it seemed like five hours, he finally decided to uh, come on up and come into our opening. Stay tuned, after the break, we're gonna see if Richie Mason can seal the deal on this Ohio Giant. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Looking for a unique getaway? Visit Kingsport, Tennessee, where breathtaking views and affordable family fun are just a short drive away. Take in the natural beauty of the mountains, rivers, and lakes. Enjoy area parks and endless opportunities for outdoor fun. Play, retreat, relax, and soak up southern charm that is truly unmatched. Experience world-class lodging and a taste of Kingsport's local flavor. Good times are made in Kingsport, Tennessee. We'd love to see you here. Nathan, that was fun. I got a lot of bites, had them on, just couldn't put them in the boat. Well, Nathan, I think I've seen your problem. Uh, we're using the same bait I am, but you don't have any hooks. Tracy, if your retirement investments had performed the way mine had, you wouldn't put hooks on yours either, because they'll get hung up and you'll lose it. That crankbait's got to last me 20 years. And I have some investment options that are safe, secure, and guaranteed. Hi, I'm Tracy Burton with Preferred Insurance Solutions, and I'd like to help you with your retirement needs. We just need to talk. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by Drake's Adventures, the interactive book series that gets children involved. Drake set out the can call and the rattling antlers. Hey, we're with pro staffer Richie Mason in Ohio. Check this 3B Outdoors Drake's Adventures segment out. Check it out. He got about 25 yards. I was already at full draw. I knew how, I knew it, I'd already ranged where he was at. So I knew how far it was. He was at a real slow walk. I elected not to stop him and it was a mistake. Just got hit. Boys, I think I just drilled him. I'm about to fall out of this tree. Thank you, Justin Rawlings, for being here with me. Give me some. The shot was a buzz low, wasn't it, or was it? I let the air fly, and I thought it was a good shot. Me and Justin high five. we knuckled up. We thought it was done and over with. I even, when we reviewed the footage, it looked maybe just a little bit back and a little bit low, but it looked right in the boiler room. So we give him an hour or so. Let it get good and dark. Got her stuff together, got down. Couldn't find no blood. Justin wanted to go on and try to find him. I said, no, nope, I've been in this situation too many times. We jump him up, we'll track him all night long. Uh, we come in and tracked him for maybe 100, 150 yards, but we felt like we was jumping him. So, in Dow, back out, that's what we did. Needless to say, it was one of the longest nights I'd ever put over in my life. I don't, I don't think I ever did fall asleep. We felt like we'd been, uh, we kept pushing him. We'd been out there all night long. So we're coming back today. We picked up the blood trail. There's good blood right here. Those green, uh, those rage, they can't handle them. Uh, any kind of decent shot at all, and more than likely you're gonna find them. We got to the edge of the field, no deer. We find some good blood, but he starts going uphill. We knew from that point that wasn't a good sign. We're gonna sneak in here real quiet and uh, see if we can't find him, but I don't think he's far, so come on with us. Got more. 
like I'm in. More blood. All the way down through here. Good sign. Before he's running hard, he's starting to pump that blood now. Long story short, about three, about another three quarters of a mile, we'd done tracked him probably a mile and a half. He stopped bleeding again. We was down on our hands and knees for 100 yards across an open field, spot here, spot here, spot there. Eventually we ran out of blood. We just scattered out and went in a straight line of the way the blood was going. That's a good pile there. Hey Jeff, what's that right there? <laughs> yes! There he is, boys, yes! Oh. Man, that's him, boys. That's Marvin. I've been waiting for two months to do this right here. He had ran into a little thicket, and there he laid dead, stone cold dead. Had we, we could have very easily give up on this deer. I, I know we tracked him two and a half miles. Bled more than any deer I've ever seen bleed. It's amazing the will they have to live. But uh, I'm just glad we didn't give up on him. And this is one of my biggest whitetails. It's definitely my biggest whitetail on film. But I want to thank God. Without him, none of this would be possible. If we hadn't found him, we would have got an A for effort for looking at him, but, or for, for looking for him, but boys, here he is. I've been waiting so long for this. This is what we hunt our whole lives for. And he's definitely my best one. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Want to keep hunting alive for generations to come? Yep. Want to pass on our great heritage? Watch him, buddy. He's down. We got spider. Read your kids Drake's Adventures interactive sound books. They'll turn them into your little hunting buddies. Back up the valley. Dad, can we go hunting this weekend? Can we? Order one today and let's get our children involved. The reality is, as an engineer, you really do look to try to make things as simple as possible. Our goal for this bow was to build the most accurate bow ever built. The result is the creation of a radically new system. You just have to shoot it to believe it. When the light is low, that's when you find them. Scouting endless hours till I choose just the right one. I'm Lamar Smith, and I'm hunting a brush country monster. Out here, seeing is truly believing. May opto rifle scopes, binoculars, and spotters with twilight optimized optics give me an advantage to see more and hunt longer when I'm hot on the trail of that monster buck. Nathan, we're on dry land now. I don't think you'll need your life jacket inside the truck. And I only wish my retirement investments had a life jacket on them. My retirement options are safe, secure, and guaranteed. I can't wait to get out of this life jacket and put one on my retirement investments. Nathan, we better get going. We've already fished longer than our wives expected. We're late for dinner again. Hi, I'm Tracy Burton with Preferred Insurance Solutions, and I'd like to help you with your retirement needs. We just need to talk. There are two kinds of people who fish. Those who simply fish, and those who fish like pros. To tell them apart, just look at their engines. Pros choose Mercury, because nothing beats a Mercury Pro XS when it comes to hole shot, acceleration, top speed, and reliability. And no one beats a Mercury dealer when it comes to service and support. Mercury Pro XS, yeah! the top choice of pros, for those who fish like a pro. It's good to have Mercury behind you. When I'm deer hunting, one of my most valuable tools is Scout Look. If you have a smartphone, it's an app that is absolutely free. It will pinpoint stand locations on an aerial map. Then you have a scent cone that will show you what stands you can hunt with the best wind. If you'll put wind at the top of your list while hunting, your opportunities and success will improve. Wow, watching that back, reliving those memories, it always gets me fired up. You know, it doesn't get much better than that. Being in a blind with a bow, 
watching the sun come up, hearing that first gobble at daylight, well, you just have to do it yourself to know exactly what I'm talking about. Then congratulations to Richie Mason on that big old Buckeye Bruiser. Having most of the 3B Outdoor gang there and walking up on that giant and getting to experience that with all your buddies, well, that's just priceless. I'd like to thank you again for being part of the show this week. Join us again next week where Nathan will have you somewhere on the water. I'm Freddie Neely, and you've been watching 3B Outdoor Television. We wake up in the morning before the rising sun. Load up boats, rods and reels, bows and guns. We're Team 3B, wanna have ourselves some fun. Safe, it's a lot.